Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another FSI DFS Soccer Premier League Slate Breakdown. First one went pretty well, I'd say, other than me using the sofa score projected lineups, which were completely wrong. But uh, today I'm switching to foot mob, so hopefully we'll get more accurate projections. I know it's always hard on this December window when there's so many games, the teams rotate so much. So yeah, let's talk about the slate. So four gamer, four minus favorites already makes things a little interesting. Usually it's got one big team that you can get away with stacking. Not today. I think there's a lot of mix and, mixing and matching going on. Uh, Brighton are the biggest favorites, minus 200, then May Knight, minus 180, then Brentford, 125, then Wolves, minus 118. All right, let's get into this first game. Brighton, Burnley. Hold on one sec. Ugh. In terms of set pieces, if it's this line, it should be gross everything. What was really interesting last game is we saw Billy Gilmore in the midfield, gross at left back. Billy Gilmore took six corners, Gross took one. It becomes a really interesting question of, is Gross worth it? Like, if you look at his price, he's 10400 I think if we get this kind of lineup with no Billy Gilmore, Gross in midfield, you just plug him. If there's Billy Gilmore and Gross is at left back, it becomes a really interesting question. Because, look, Gross had... Essentially, no floor points. He got a goal and assist. He had 24 points. He got, what, six floor. That is not good enough for that kind of price. It just uh, So I think we created a little flow chart here. Is Billy Gilmore playing? Is Gross at left back? If, if if both of those are yeses, I think we fade him. Especially in, in GPP. In cash, you can maybe get away with it, but I think it's probably not worth it. However, if we get this lineup, you play him in cash most likely. You probably have a decent share in GPP too. For Burnley, we've seen Brown Hill lose his set pieces. If it this if it's this lineup, I expect a good Munson Tresor split. Um, I'm not sure I love either of them really against Brighton, especially when there's four minus favorites on the slate, like I was saying earlier. For Man United, Bruno Fernandez splitting with Luke Shaw. If Luke Shaw's a center back, I don't think he's a great play. If he's a fullback, I'm definitely interested. Reguillon, if there's Reguillon and no Luke Shaw, Reguillon then most likely takes a share of set pieces. I think he's a great play. He might even, he's, I don't think he's even that terrible without sets. Like he's an attacking fullback, gets crosses even without set pieces. So he gets some open play work for sure. For Bournemouth, we saw Tavernier rested in midweek, uh, which led to a Christy Cook split with Tavernier in, and there'll be a Cook Tav split. And uh, against Man United, it's not a great matchup, so I'm not sure you touched them anyway. All right, next game. Oh, my thing's in the way. Can I move this? One sec. There we go. Okay. Sheffield Brentford. Brentford minus 100, as we talked about before. And Boima went off injured last game, which led to a Gatto Spinopoli. Even if he's a forward, this is a forward at fullback. I think he's a lock for this slate for his price. I remember him. Not being too much. Yeah, 4,900. No, no, if there's no uh, Mboimo, no Jensen, you play Gatos. However, I did see Jensen was questionable going with this game. It was going to be a late-time decision. If he's starting, just forget about Gatos. It'll just be Jensen Monopoly. Other guy I saw was Lewis Potter. I think it was really cheap on DraftKings. Let's see how much exactly he was. I want to say it's like 4K-ish. Yeah, 3,900 forward eligible. I think it's a great play. Great play, especially in cash when you need the value. So, yeah, Lewis Potter, great play. Any of these other guys? Malpai Visa, I'd say, are not bad for GPP. I think and there's going to be a lot of interesting forwards just because of how many big favorites there were on this slate. So it's going to be really interesting to decide who to go. In cash, I think it's a little bit easier if you, if you just go like gross and then Gato, so you're two forwards. But yeah, definitely can get a lot more different in GPP in this slate. Wolves, Sarabia, I love Sarabia. He's been priced up a little bit from what he's been. He's no longer in that 5K range. Now he's in the sevens. Yeah, there he is right there. 19 floor last game. Really good player. I don't know why he doesn't play that much. So if we see this kind of lineup, I love Sarabia. I'm a little scared if we see a Tommy Doyle or a Bellegarde 
end here. I just don't know exactly what their set situation will be. It's hard to imagine Sarabi taking nothing, though. But I think worse he splits, he's still a good play. Nottingham Forest, we saw Gibbs White rested midweek. It, they'll go back to being a top flow, him split. I don't know if I love either of them, really. I know Gibbs White's a lot, and I think Toffolo just does not offer a ton besides his set pieces. I think he's got very little open play value, so I'm not sure about him. All right, let's go to the, like, the prices now, one by one. So, yeah, Gross I talked about. It's going to be a big decision here. Hopefully, we just see Nobila Gilmore and Gross in midfield. It'll, it'll just make it a lot easier. Or if we see Billy Gilmore, I hope Gross is a left back, and then also makes it pretty easy to fade in that case. So, yeah, that's my thoughts on Gross. Play if he's in midfield and no Gilmore. If he's a left back and Gilmore, fade. Uh, Gibbs White, I think he's a little much for this slate, especially considering the other forwards. I think there's a lot of good forwards, especially in GPP. Like any of the Wolves guys, Cunha, Wang, both great players, both been extremely hot. Like both of these guys are capable. If you're, I, actually, I could say I could see you playing both of them with Sarabi and a little wolf stack and GPP. I think that's a great way to go about it. So yeah, both of them are interesting for GPP. Same with Rashford. Like there's so many forwards. Like any of these guys, Pedro, Garnacho, Malpai maybe a little less so, but Evan Ferguson. Like all of these guys are really good plays. And just gonna be difficult deciding who to go for cash. Like I said, I don't know if you go any of them. If you could just go gross, then Gatos down here. Then just surround them with maybe Bruno Fernandez and then floor around, best you can do. It's going to take a little bit of bargain hunting, but I think there's several on this slate. Uh, Good Munson. He's not bad for that price. I just don't love the matchup, and like I said, there's so many forwards here. Adam Gry, love. Boyland is not bad. Anthony. He's got a floor. I know he played 90, so he's probably not going to play this game. But if he is, like, he's not bad. Adam Graz is not bad. Like, there's so many forwards. So many. Uh, one of the guys that I said I liked. Gados. Yep, Gados, probably favorite play on the slate if he's in a set-friendly lineup. Um, Where is my boy? Lewis Potter. Yep. So cheap there. Like, such a good play. Osula's a bit of a differential in GPP, I'd say. He's not had a goal this year, but like for that price, you cannot go any lower. He definitely gets you a lot of things in terms of big pieces around him just for that price. So he's interesting in GPP and cash, I'd say probably not worth it with Lewis Potter there. Midfielders, Bruno Fernandez, he's probably just the plug of the slate. Like he's busted like one time, that's like 15 games against Newcastle, which is a tough matchup. But yeah, other than that, look, 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 just insane amount of points. Yeah, just plug Bruno. Like I'm probably gonna have maybe even 100% DPP. In cash, you just play him for sure. Talked about gross already. Um, Tavernier, a little much for that. Sarabi, I talked about too. Love him. Like, it's going to be whether you want to cram him in cash, which, um, I think it depends what defenders we get. Like, if it, if it's Shaw left back or no Shaw and Reguillon left back, like, I feel like maybe you just go them instead of cramming another expensive mid. So it just depends. Oh, yeah. And like I talked about Bellegarde and them, they might ruin. Sarabi a little bit. Mitoma, that's not a bad price for GPP. If it'll load. Oh, there we go. Um, yeah, he's he's pretty solid. He's not been pulling up insane numbers. He had that game against Bournemouth. But he's not a bad play. Like I said, there's so many minus favorites on this slate. That kind of creates a lot of options. So he's a little much. He doesn't even play that much. I don't see him going past 60 here anyway. So I don't love that. We I talked about, like, you could really get a takedown from anywhere. I think ownership's going to be pretty divided because of this slate and how many options there are. So, like, if you just choose to just go one way, just be confident in it, stack around one team. If you're, if you're going to go for a GPP build, maybe one of these teams just smashes more than the other guys. McTominay, that's an interesting one. Look at him. He, had, he was playing almost as a false nine against Chelsea. They had, they had him and Hoyland almost as a double pivot at times. 
up there. Like seven shots, five on goal is ridiculous. Like he's definitely interesting for GPP. You pair up with Bruno Fernandez, maybe another Man United attacker. Hope for just them to come good, although they've been very inconsistent. But you have Tomney. That's a super interesting play for GPP. Want to note that he's been priced up a little bit. I liked him a lot more when he was 4,700, 3,800. For this price, I don't love him. He already busted. I don't know how he got priced up from that. Armor? That's not a bad play. I don't think I forgot to talk about Sheffield sets, but expect Hammer to take. He just doesn't do anything because they don't get many sets. But against Brentford, it's a lot more friendly matchup than Liverpool is. Maybe. Not in love with that, though. Christie, he'll split if there's no Tavernier. Probably still not worth it. Jay Rodriguez, meh. Tommy Doyle, if we see a rested Bellegarde for 5K, or rested Strabia, sorry, I, I I don't mind a Tommy Doyle play for 5K. I talked about how Billy Gilmore could make you not want to play gross, but what about playing Gilmore just himself if he's in? I think that's kind of interesting. Like, he's he's taking a lot of set pieces recently. He's been getting there. For 4,800, I don't think that's a bad play at all. And I could see you going him over gross, getting some savings, and maybe finding a different option up there, like I said, with all the other forward options. Um, any of these other guys? My new super talented kid. I don't think he's that DFS friendly. Any of these other guys? Police Street's not bad if he plays, but I doubt it. Lewis Potter, I talked about, love him. McAtee is not bad. I thought he could maybe take a set or two against Liverpool. We didn't see that. He's still got a decent amount of points. I don't mind him either for that price. Kinselwood scored last game. He still we would have had two Florida. Like, I don't know if I love him either. It seems more of a more of an anomaly to me than the norm. Lewis Cook, he kind of did not do great last game. I liked him a lot this game. Like him a lot less. Like there's a lot of cheap options, like I said. Uh any of these other guys? Not really. All right. That's about it for the midfield. John Fleck, I guess, if he's in, maybe take a little bit, maybe throw him in a build or two. Um, defenders. All right. Man United, I think, have the top fullbacks on the slate. Rigion, Dello, Shaw. CB Shaw, not interested in that. Left back Shaw, definitely have time for. The low I like a lot. Like, he's got, I know he's got capability of dropping these four and five point games, but then you also get these rare 17, 10, 17, 14. Like, he, he, he definitely can get there. Like, I don't mind that as a play, even in cash. It just depends on who you go with them. Like, sometimes you just have to just punt D just to afford the attackers, which I don't think is crazy. But you can definitely fit, get a more balanced build here, and I don't think it's even that bad. The okay, Adelo, Reggion, Shaw, depends on formation, depends on lineup, all definitely viable. Toffolo, yeah, like, like I said, he took one corner. That was his basically his only point. <laughs> Not for me. Smedu, uh, I think he's a little much here. I'm not as interested in that. He was like 3K or 4K, maybe. And none of these guys. Charlie Taylor, he's been kind of getting there. Eh, kind of. Four points, 12 there. Probably not. Wamba Saka, and he's not as appealing as Dello. And for that price, I don't think he's quite cheap enough to warrant picking him. Hugo Bueno, I like a lot. I think he's a solid, solid player. He's not a bad, cheaper option. Oh, many of these other guys. Rorslev is not bad. He's not been great, but he's a fullback on a favorite. That's all I have to say about him. We saw Ben Me with that goal last or two games ago. I don't think he's bad if he's pairing up with Gatos. No, uh, Bogle. Eh. Van Hecke. Any of these cheap center backs on the favorites, I don't mind. Like, you got him. Hillman's not bad. Dunk. Like, yeah, if you, you can definitely pay, play any of these, like, 3K center backs. Just play them with your set taker on their team. 
Uh, Luke Thomas at Ben. That's a cheap fallback option. Played 45 last game or in Burnley. I don't know if he's completely healthy. I don't think he played a minute last game. But if he is, 2800 is not a bad price for a fullback. Oh, Lindel off the bin. That's a pretty, that's as low as you can go. I don't mind that at all. Goalkeeper, and they just a crapshoot. Like someone asked, some Gator guy put it up really well in our Discord the other day. Um, just play, or just just go who you want. Play the guys you want. Put the cheapest goalkeeper in for now, and you can go up depending on how much you leave left over after you play the guys you want to play. Um, yeah, so for a core, I think you go Bruno Fernandez. Let's assume that we get a gross friendly bill. If you go him, then you play my guy Gatos, like I was talking about. This is plenty to build it. I think you can even probably even cram Sarabi in here. That's definitely doable. And if not, you can maybe go a shot in here. Like, there's plenty of ways you can go for this slate. You can even maybe fade gross, go for. Wolves attackers go, or even Evan Ferguson. Like, there's plenty of ways to go for this slate. Like, don't be afraid to go with any forward combo here. Like, there's so many good players. Like, I don't. I wouldn't say you need Gross. I'd say you probably need Bruno. I'd play him, <laughs> and then maybe play Gross and Cash. Maybe get different GPP with a couple of different guys. Maybe go Jao Pedro. Maybe try to get to Brighton through Pedro Evan Ferguson together, and. Like, that could work. Like, there's so many ways to go here. It's kind of a fun slate because of that. All right. I think that's good, guys. So, yeah, if uh, any questions, I'm in Discord. Join. It's free right now for the rest of December. I'm always there breaking down every slate. And, yeah, guys, have a good one. Good luck in this Premier League slate on Saturday. Later, guys.